got that winning feeling They can't slow me down I got that winning feeling This is our 14th annual uh, DK 3 on 3 40, 50 athletes are all coming together throughout the course of two days, and we're just kind of battling against each other three on three style. You know, there's veterans, there's there's gold medalists, there's Paralympians, and I love that format just because you wouldn't necessarily play with some of those people all the time. You step out of the, the normal five on five and uh, just have fun with it. Come on. Got that winning feeling. I'm here, bro. I'm here. Nothing's gonna stop yeah. me now. When you get to my stage in the game, it's not about how many championships you won, but if you're able to leave a wheel print, at least for me, what is important is that uh, I possibly had a little piece of something to do with you and your game along the way. DK is a role model for all of us. He was that little guard that reinvented the game, somebody who is a legend internationally in our sport. He, he wants to leave his wheel print on the sport, and that's what he's doing at, at events like this and tournaments around the country. It's such a blessing to have Performax in the middle of my tournament. You know, it's a culture. Anybody that sees it and feels it wants to be part of it. It's an honor being invited to this and just kind of seeing there's so much talent. I hope that I'm invited back. The idea of growing this into a, a more of a national experience is something I would really be behind. Now that we're looking at men and women gold medalists here in the United States, kids have a legitimate vehicle to dream about being a wheelchair basketball player. Not about being Michael Jordan or Kevin Durant. Now you can dream about being a Steve Serio or Matt Scott or a Becca Murray, and that could be you. Nothing's gonna stop me now.